Hi lovely people, uh, going to do the daily card, normally it goes out in the morning but I'm all behind today. Uh, I was awake at 5 o'clock and trying to rest till about 6.30 but yeah, uh, I got up at 6.30 and then my day was just kind of sorting out stock and that for the healing weekend which is this weekend coming up, three day event in Somerset, you know, and um, so the van is loaded, I've just had a shower so I'm kind of ready to go, here we are with the Spirit Oracle deck. So we're going to give them a quick shuffle and we're going to see where it takes us, what unfolds. So we're just going to stop and I'm just going to work through the cards and I'm just going to turn, pick this one. And here we go. It's the angel. Uh, it comes with a white card. So, you know, it's the color of innocence. It's the color of truth. I kind of see it as, you know, this fresh purity. Uh, it's like a, a fresh sheet. It's, it resembles something of a new chapter, a new beginning. You know, the element of like turning a page and being able to think about laying things out differently. So the white is a lovely, it's always a great colour. Uh, I know technically it's not seen as a, as a colour, but I view them all as colours. So it's a great colour to have within a reading because it speaks of this freshness, this newness coming into play. And, you know, with the word no, it's... It's up to us what that means. You know, it's not dealing with old, it is dealing with new. And new is the only thing that truly creates change. So it's this freshness. Uh, where does this go? Does this go into life around us or do we project it back into ourselves and work with that element? Um, so yeah, it represents something of a fresh page, uh, a new chapter. You know, I guess we are entering into a new chapter with this year now opening up and you know, the possibilities of things coming back to some form of normality, whatever that means. But this this freshness or this new element coming into play. It is the angel. This particular angel, she's got something of a long neck. And, and it was just kind of meant to be. But the long neck is kind of like her, it's to do with voice or speaking. Uh, it's very similar in some way, aspects of it. It's very similar to the card of communication. Because, you know, the voice is a form of to communicate, an element to speak up. Um, and not to speak up in a way that's aggressive, but to speak up in a way that kind of maybe show more feelings, you know, to communicate more and bring that element into play, to voice. There's a suggestion of we're holding a lot of things in or holding a lot of things down. But the long neck is also about to stick, well, symbolically about to stick one's chin out, you know, to push forwards to overcome. Uh, it, it carries aspects of releasing anxiety and anxiousness. And I know for a lot of us, it's been a very, a very nervous time, if you like, on many, many levels, not just with the virus, but, you know, dealing with what the virus is creating and affecting us all, each and every one of us in a similar way, but also in a different way on many, many levels, because, you know, from the worries of actually, you know, our, our work, and financial situations and you're know, not being able to see family and health regarding the so lots and lots of levels here coming into play so it's a great card for releasing anxiety anxiousness and nervous energy i mean it can go into the digestive system because the tummy space you know it's about working more with your your gut feeling your intuition uh, and I know the tummy space is a very, was a very powerful place for myself in working, actually, because it is linked to our nervous system. It's chi, it's life force, you know, to, to work with the gut or the gut feeling and what that represents. Um, so it's a very powerful place. I mean, some people see the tummy space as the second mind. Some seem, seem to see it as the first mind, which really intrigues me. But it's a place of all our energy and our emotions, uh, and it is the core coming into play. So very much a card of actually pushing forwards. It's a bit of a risque card. So don't be afraid of taking an element of chance, you know, to come outside the comfort zone, you know, to take an element of risk. Now, I know risk, at, you know, to some level have to be calculated. We cannot be totally or utterly foolish. Well, maybe we can, but, you know, it's we, we all need that element of confidence or certain things in place but it is a card to take chance or risk and the risk and chance can be very very rewarding it can also be the other way but is our ability then to adapt to change and to move forwards and you know we still need to be somewhat thoughtful when we take that risk and we have to view different aspects 
of, you know, the plan, the risk that I'm going to take carries a plan. And I may call that plan A. But I also have a plan B and a plan C if necessary. Something that prepares me for unlikely events and how I'm going to deal with them. So it's a great card. You know, it's a feminine card. And any feminine card is about standing in one's power, to, you know, to, to take control, to take control of me and to lead myself forwards, to voice, to speak up, to speak out. And, and, and not in an aggressive way. We can still talk with a strength, but it can be about, a, you know, uh, bringing about or strengthening boundaries within life and situations. So we're going to stop there on that one. I'm going to get back to finishing the van. Lovely, lovely to see those that are able to, to attend the healing weekend. Uh, for those that cannot, you know, maybe next year. Um, new faces, I know there's new people that are going to come along. So come over and see me if I'm busy. I'll try to give a little wave there. Uh, but if I'm not busy, you know, come and say hello. Anyway, have a great week and um, uh, leading up to a great weekend. And take care, shine that light and God bless. Thank you now. Bye.